All right, welcome back. It's Back to the Basics. I'm Sean Barr, and today we are talking about VLAN pruning. Getting rid of some VLANs. Let's go! All right, we're back and we are talking VLAN pruning. So what is VLAN pruning? Well, if you've got trunk links and we're talking the layer two switching environment, so you've got switches connected with layer two trunk links, they're trunking VLANs through them. It's gonna trunk all VLANs. So let's say you've got 100 VLANs on a switch, um, it, it's gonna trunk all the, that traffic, that broadcast traffic specifically over that trunk. If you're not using those VLANs on that particular switch, uh, or maybe you're only using one or two VLANs on that switch. Or let's say that uh, maybe you've got a DMZ VLAN that you're trunking uh, from your DMZ switches down to your core for some reason. You don't want that DMZ VLAN going out to every single switch in your environment. Maybe for one, uh, it could be just limiting broadcast traffic. Number two, you don't want maybe some downstream admin to accidentally put a port on the DMZ. So it could be a, a mix of security, could be a mix of, of just effectiveness around network, network efficiency so that broadcasts aren't traversing the entire network. So why should you care about this? Well, as you get more and more VLANs in your environment, more and more broadcast traffic on the environment, it starts to create noise in the, in the network. And so if you prune out those VLANs, it will ensure that only the broadcast traffic for the VLANs in which that are being used are on that switch. How does it work? Well, on a trunk port, uh, that's a port configured to another switch, you can configure something called allowed VLANs. And so you will actually go in and type the numbers of those VLANs. So VLAN 10, VLAN 20, VLAN 30. You can allow those VLANs over the trunk. Every other VLAN that's not in the allowed list will not be passed on to the downstream switch. So they won't get that tagging on, on those, uh, on the, that traffic. Um, so it limits that traffic and that's about it. So VLAN pruning keeps your network efficient. And additionally, if you're using VTP, there's a function called auto pruning and it'll automatically do this for you. But if you're using traditional networking and you are uh, just configuring trunk ports, allowed, allowed VLANs is where it's at. That's how you prune them. All right, if I said anything in this video that you're like, hey, love to know more, about that, leave a comment, like, subscribe, and we will see you on the next Back to the Basics.